Hello, everyone, or to whoever it is that's listening. Um, I am one of Shireen's clients turned family. Uh, just want to put that out there from now. Shireen is literally my family member. Aww, I love, I you love too. her for life. Um, love anything you. you need, Shireen, I will always be there. Um, I you appreciate been? you so much, and I'm just so happy that. I found you, and I'm so happy that you're so genuine and authentic. I'm a person that, you know, real recognizes real. So it Aww. just, we took to each other, and I've, I'm just really, really, uh, my heart is so full and my spirit is so full. Sometimes I don't even have the words to put it together. But I'm just really, really happy that I was able to reach out to her and that she was able to help me and that you two brought us to you know to cross paths um i originally started following sharif damn sorry y'all i accidentally went the stupid thing to turn it off okay wait hold on hold on always be there on you and i'm so happy that you're so genuine and authentic i'm a person that you know real recognizes real so it just we took to each other and I've, I'm just really, really, uh, my heart is so full and my spirit is so full. Sometimes I don't even have the words to put it together. But I'm just really, really happy that I was able to reach out to her and that she was able to help me and that you two brought us to, you know, to cross paths. Um, I originally started following Shireen in 2018. At that time, I could not afford to have work done by her. So I waited. And I waited, and I waited, and finally, in March of 2020, I was able to finally purchase work, spiritual work from her. Um, I purchased an obsession work, and I purchased separation work for a third party that was coming in between my relationship. Um, I want to say this first things first, patience is key. Hey, what? Please, hounding Shireen having any kind of manic energy, those were the things that luckily because I had been following her for so long, I knew those things would be counterproductive to the end result. Mm -hmm. So I did not hound her. I know that she said, if you give me six months to a year of your life, I can change it. And she did just that and then some. The first six months was hard and it's going to be. Um, mm -hmm. you know, things have to manifest in the physical world. It's not an overnight fix. Magic is not an overnight fix. It's not a two week fix. It's not a four week fix. And something else to be said is that when you're going to Shireen for spiritual work, you have to go to her knowing that it's going to work. If it's not, Shireen will tell you that up front. She's not going to take your money. Mm -hmm. so once you you know you pay her and she starts the workings for you it's really just time for you to step back and watch things work um for me with my relationship i knew that this was someone that i, I want to marry we had talked about marriage and this is someone that i wanted to be with for the rest of my life so i was willing to go through the battlefield for six months to a year um in the trenches because i know what the end result is um it's like when you're going to war or when you're going to school actually you know you know what the end result is um you don't give up each semester you don't give up each class because you know the goal is to graduate you know you want that diploma you want that degree and you know what you're going to do with it it's going to get hard and there are going to be times when you want to quit um something else that really really helped me um was journaling I did a lot of journaling. Again, the first six months was like hell for me. There was so much crying and just so, I'm a very private person, but there was just a lot of just hurt and pain. And throughout all of these times, I knew that Shireen has got me and spirit has got me. So there was at no point in time that I projected my stress or my distress onto her. Not at all, she was amazing. I knew what was at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have faith and you have to, you have to, have to have patience. Um, what Shireen tells you to do, 
you got to do it. Like, mm-hmm. I, I know it's hard, and with affairs of the heart and emotions, um, you want to give up, or you feel like it's not happening fast enough. From the time that I reached out to Shireen, and Shireen started the work for me in March, um, I severed ties with my target for good in, um, I want to say, May. I spoke to Shireen. We reconvened around August. I didn't hear back from my target until two days before Christmas. So that's from March to the end of December. At this point in time now, he is on me like glue. Mashallah, um, mashallah, mashallah. Texting, FaceTiming, wanting to do any and everything for me. Wants to help me with my mm-hmm. kid, help me take care of my car, help mashallah. me take care of finances. It just, spirit knows when the time is right. And nothing, nothing happens overnight. And anything worth having is worth working and waiting for. Trust me. Thank you. Um, you have to really, really, really have faith. If you do not have faith, if you are even a little bit shaky, this isn't for you. Mm-hmm. And if you do not have faith that Shireen can get the job done, don't even, don't go to her. Thank don't you. Go to her. If you don't. don't have the ability to really sit down and shut up mm-hmm. and really take you know these next couple months or even a year or so and take it to the chin because you know what's coming out on the other end don't bother Shireen thank you is too thorough too authentic and just too real there is no time for the bs no time for flip-flopping no time for you got to be able to control your emotions Mm -hmm. um with spirit work and with whatever else it is if it's relationship whatever else it is you got to be able to control your emotions Something that helped me was going back to old videos that Shireen has. Um, and instead of calling her or texting her or, you know, emailing Gabby a million and one things, I would really go back and watch those videos, let them play while I'm falling asleep, let them play while I'm working. And really, sometimes I would watch a video five times, ten times. Like, just really, really soak in what it was that she was saying to me. And those times, it really helped to keep me going and keep me grounded. And something else that I did was journaling. I journaled. um, I didn't start off initially with journaling because, again, like I said, the first six months was like, or the first few months was like hell for me. When I was really able to focus on that end goal i started journaling i started journaling in august and i journaled every single day and on the days when i would see something that really really hurt me or crushed me i went into that journal and i put my pen to that paper so hard and with so much vigor of what i wanted that end result to be I literally put my mind to the opposite of what I was seeing and I journaled every single thing I wanted and I did it every day. And it filled up a page, two pages, a half a page. I was faithful with that journaling, mm-hmm. with that praying, Homework. and with that patience. Homework. Um, yep. So I just wanted to let everyone know that you, you got to have patience. When Shireen tells you again, um, give her six months to a year of your life, Magic, you know, again, it doesn't happen overnight. Some people do manifest faster, but it just, it's so much sweeter when it takes its time. Hey, and girl, you get, love you, know, you, you. start feeling like you're, you're finally getting somewhere. You realize why it takes time, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the spiritual world is one thing, but on the physical plane, uh, things have to happen. You know, chips have to fall. Every, you know, you, people don't just break up overnight, so people don't. Get back together overnight. Um, You don't become a millionaire overnight if you're doing money work. Um, But you have to have patience and you have to have faith in the spirit. Being or lacking faith in the spirit is a deterrent. It definitely is. If if it feels like you don't trust them, they're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely not going to do it. And if spirit feels like you're rushing them, they're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. They are helping us, and Shireen is helping us. Someone that is bestowing their knowledge and their spirits onto you is such a gift. You do not hound that person. You do not chase them. You don't, you know what I mean? You just, you got to accept the gift 
and just do what you have to do on your part until it comes to fruition. Hi, baby. Again, like I said, I got working started in March, and I didn't really start seeing things move until December. And halfway through that time, I felt like things had even gotten worse than they were before. Um, I would just keep, uh, keep Shireen updated, give her an update one month, um, just to let her know how things were going. I paid for my boosters, please. Um, I understand that not everyone can afford the work, but again, I, I waited two years before I could afford to work with Shireen. And I feel like if you really, really want something and you know something is good and it's quality work and it's a quality person like Shireen, you gotta pay for it. You gotta be willing to put your money where your mouth is. Um, so I, I purchased my initial work. I purchased two boosters um, afterwards. And Shireen, of course, out of the kindness of her heart, did boosters on top of that. But I, um, I never wanted her to feel like I was trying to get a handout. I wanted her to know how much I appreciated what she was doing for me. And of course, I could tell her I appreciate it. But monetary, you know, I am not in a position where I can set up an altar and give offerings to the spirits. So me sending her that money and that connection that she has with her spirits, um, I just, you know, you want to do your part. Another thing is being able to step back from your target. It is really hard. You're going to want to check social media. You're going to want to talk to them. And the times when it feels Oops. It's like it's getting even harder, you have to fight to not do it. All of these things slow down your process. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry. I don't want to ramble, but I just want everyone to know how amazing Shireen is. Hi, like, you know, you see her on YouTube or, or, you know, you may talk to her on the phone here and there, but it, to know her is to love her. She's so <sighs> genuine. Love and when you. she tells you that she will ride with you till the wheels fall off, if you don't hound her, she will. Like, we are in January and Shireen and I are still working together, you know, and she's got my back, I got hers. Just have patience, have faith. Um, remain steadfast, control your emotions, trust me, it's hard, but it works, you gotta have a warrior spirit, especially when it comes to spiritual work, if you're going in there, you gotta have a, you gotta have tough skin, um, you have to be prepared to see things that will hurt you, and hear things that will hurt you, you have to be prepared to disconnect from your lover, or, or whatever it is, um, but it's for that end result. Um, Shireen, I love you. Love I adore you. you. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so happy that I found you. To anyone else that is listening to this, journal, 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 journal. Um, pay for your boosters. And in the times when it feels like it gets really, really hard, Shireen has so many videos, even psychology videos, of just how to go about doing things with your relationship. Um, I was able to not answer the phone every single time my target called. And I was so happy to see him calling, but I was able to do that and feel confident in doing it. I didn't feel like I needed to answer every single phone call. I didn't feel like I needed to jump as soon as he told me to jump mm -hmm. or, or as soon as he wanted to go on a date or something like that. Go back and watch those videos that Shireen has. They are tools and they're free tools. You'd be surprised. They are really free tools. And please, pay her for her time mm -hmm. she is so accommodating and she she will give all of herself selflessly don't just take spirit sees that and if you are just taking from her and using her or putting your emotions onto her um you know trying to make her feel sorry for you and things of the spirit sees all of that you got to keep your heart and your spirit pure keep it genuine um, I'm going to cut this off now, but I just wanted to give that testimonial. It, um, you know, like I said, from March up until December is when I finally really started seeing some movement and things take time. Greatness takes time. Thank you, Shireen. I love you. I'm out.
Love you, baby girl. That was a beautiful oh, testimony. Yeah, Oops, wrong one. Sorry, I keep hitting that button. So, oof, my arm's getting tired. Okay, so, backstory. I won't get too into detail, and if you know it, oh, I like to, you know, always use my evil eye painting to ward off any negativity, any curse, hex, negative energy. Chamsa Baraneko for anybody who has ill intention or evil eye, this is for you. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, yes, this client I've had since March. Backstory, like she said, difficult case. Um, another party involved. And she at first didn't follow instructions. You know, took her a couple months. Probably actually, yeah, it took her a couple of months before she actually followed my instructions. I give instruction for a reason, okay? If it didn't matter, I wouldn't give it, okay? There's a reason for everything I tell you to do or not to do. Homework, okay, which she talked about. I'm not going to go into everything that I instruct because that's my business and my client's business. But if I'm telling you to do something or not to do something, it's for a reason, you have to be willing to, like she said, have thick skin. Girl, that was a beautiful testimony. I really appreciate it. Um, as she said, she uh, didn't get the results until December. And at this point now, he's, mashallah, 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 knock on wood. He's on her ass now. Okay, and, and I have him begging her. So that's the what you want at the end of the day, however long that takes. But you don't want fly-by-night bullshit, okay? You want, you know, the changes to be made. I actually prefer when they take time. I mean, it's more work for me, obviously. Now, she did uh, pay for a booster, but I, I do that regardless, okay? But, you know, I never push anybody to giving me anything more no matter how long it takes, okay? But don't drive me crazy. Uh, I'm not about the getting driven up the fucking wall, okay? You want real, like, lasting results and to fucking learn something um, and to not have to rely on somebody for the rest of your life to keep working your relationship, you know, then learn from me and, and do what I tell you to do. And if you have the patience, you have the faith, you know, I get that it's going to get hard, but, you know, everything in its proper time. You don't want, you know, bullshit, to be honest. So anyway, girl, I love you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to send me that beautiful testimony. I appreciate it. Uh, I love you so much. And, you know, we ride till the wheels fall off, ride or die. Love you. Toodles, bitch.